Assalamu alaikum ninjas and ni hao. Welcome back to Vidoshin Nazad. Here we have it, the Redmi 10X Pro finally in my hands. This is the unboxing and review after the updates, after one month or so since this device was released. So we're going to do unboxing and we're going to test a lot of different uh, things in this uh, review. Basically, uh, screen review, audio review, gaming review, camera review. We're going to mention a little bit of the battery, but for the full battery review, I will inshallah try to do a full special video for that, uh, like a battery drain test. So stick with that. And of course, we're going to show you the pros and the cons. Where you can buy it, you can buy this device on the trading Shenzhen I got it from there the 8 gigs uh, RAM variant with 128 gigs of storage selling for $360 uh, plus that you will have to pay the PayPal fee which altogether in just uh, it will be just maybe $10 cheaper than the Banggood because Banggood doesn't uh, take the PayPal fee etc etc $390 on Banggood.com uh, also the trading Shenzhen I think it only offers DHL right now and also the Banggood offers only DHL this is to, uh, it's $23 check this out Anyway, uh, please make sure to support me, shop online with my links. By the way, this is the Redmi 10X 5G model. This is the small brother of this one, which is selling around $300, less than $300. So I also leave links for this one. This is great, the best mint range under $300 for sure. Here we go, here we go. What we have in the box, a case, free case, some Chinese manuals ninjas, a pin to open our SIM tray. We have here a fast charger. Remember this one has a quick charge support, 33 volts, while the standard one has 22.5 volts and the Redmi 10X 4G model has 18 volts. This one, you can see by stuff here, 11 volts equal three amperes or five volts equal three amperes. Here you go, or 20 volts equal 1.35 amperes. Yeah, Chinese, but you're gonna receive an uh, adapter all together and we have a uh, Type-C USB cable, medium length. Beautiful. So let's have a put our hands on this beautiful beast. Here we have it, here we have it. Uh, the beauty with the AMOLED panel, super bright. You just have to admit there is really, really bright panel. And anyway, firstly, we're gonna go regarding the design wise and material. So glass on the front, glass on the back, Ninjas. This one also has in-display fingerprint sensor. It's a bit heavy, it's uh, 208 grams, 208 grams, and it's thick, Ninjas, uh, and nine millimeter, nine millimeter thickness. For the battery size, this is really cool. What I don't like, I like about it that the camera does have this bump. Again, it's not that thick. When you put the case, uh, everything will be fine. Volume rocker and power button on the right side. Volume uh, button, power button as uh, the Redmi K30 series has a red button, uh, red color, IR blaster, noise cancellation microphone. Yeah. On the left side, we have dual SIM acceptable slot, two SIM cards or one SD card and one SIM, SIM, uh, SIM card. Type-C USB port, 3.5 mm headphone jack, noise cancel, uh, sorry for that main microphone while the noise cancellation is on top and one speaker, it doesn't have stereo speakers and on the back we have this beautiful glass, this purple color, oh my god, let me just wipe it a little bit, it's really beautiful ninjas, very very beautiful color, loving it, check this out. Four cameras on the back and just a beast. So this one, the selling point of this device that it has three times optical zoom. Yes, five times hybrid zoom and 30 times digital zoom. Just so it can go up to 30 times zooming, while the other devices can't offer that. Also, what is really important where the uh, Pocophone F2 Pro or the Redmi K30 Pro, uh, they don't offer three times optical zoom. This one has three times optical zoom, plus with the optical stabilization. So it's super, super steady, bro. Uh, anyway, we're gonna talk about the cameras later. later ninjas anyway uh, check this beauty the size bezels are really thin bottom bezel is also thin well a little bit thick here on the bottom that's just this really really standard it do does have this teardrop in the middle so it doesn't have a whole punch some of people some people do prefer to have it here and I'm one of them ninjas I prefer it to have it here instead of have it like a, a cut hole uh, in the corner I prefer this style this is my style anyway we're gonna quickly here show you the latest update yes doing this review after the latest upgrade uh, update and what is fixed it so you can see yourself increased system stability and reduced system lag that's it regarding this update MUI 11 0.5 0.0 uh, uh, 0 uh, no 0 0.5.0 stable version Okay, I mean just let's move next uh, just to show you here the security patch like you see myself here uh, just a minute old devices name and the security patch is from the June so it's a month it's just four and a half weeks old perfect I'm having the 8 gigabyte variant the base model with 128 gigs of storage uh, the standard uh, options with the MUI the, the what, what is the difference between the standard version and the pro version this one has an NFC also in, remember that it has NFC support I uh, shame they didn't add it also with the standard version I just don't get it 
So and it just the selling points next to the cameras, the three times optical zoom and 30 times uh, uh, hybrid, uh, digital zoom. It has dimensity 820 uh, quad cameras on the back uh, and of course uh, Epic, epic, epic design. I have to say that the Xiaomi devices are really amazing and high quality uh, made uh, devices. Uh, everybody will say this when they hold it in their hands. Just the phone just feels that it's more expensive. And anyway, we just first, what we're gonna do is do the screen review. Let's begin with the YouTube. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'll just show you right now uh, in a minute that we are using 1080p 60fps HDR with the Redmi 10X Pro version beautiful screen uh, very vivid uh, so this is ninja 6.57 inches uh, almost 6.6 .6 inches amoled panel 20 with 9 aspect ratio full hd process resolution 401 ppi i uh, love about it that of course like i already praised the amoled panels is just that these viewing angles are just from the different world check it out here this when you put it even on the flat surface you're going to see these colors you're going to see the screen from all angles if not that is crazy that is crazy good so we have this water drop notch uh, we have a touch sampling rate is 180 hertz it's a standard 60 hertz it's not it's not 90 hertz yes there are vivo iqz is selling for the same price tag it has dimensity 1000 plus and it has 144 hertz screen if you are not into the design uh, amulet panel and the cameras you should buy the vivo iqz one i will leave the buying links below and i do have the full review of that device so please make sure to check it out okay the peak brightness is 800 luxes uh, fourth uh, 4.5 million with one contrast ratio to be precise 400 uh, 400 4 million and 300 thousand tv rainland eye uh, comfort certification so you can use the read mode this is the minimum brightness this is 50 percent brightness and this is the maximum brightness right now it's an hdr 10 plus certified panel dc dimming and of course dc ip3 wide gamut which we can adjust according to like glass 5 on the front Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the back. It's a fingerprint magnet like you see by itself, so you have to use a case with this device in just. Anyway, it is 2.5D curved, this is not a 3D curved, it's not a curved panel, it's just a flat panel like with the Redmi K30 Pro slash Poco F2 Pro, and it has, a lot of people do prefer to have uh, uh, flat screens. Anyway, let's go now. Uh, before that, let me just go quickly to the uh, basically the display mode, and I will just show you what do we have here: reading mode, which you can enable from the pull-up notification window bar. Then we're gonna go back. We have a dark mode also with this device. Easy. Most of the Xiaomi smartphones have the dark mode now. Uh, what else we have here? Anti-flicker mode. DC dimming prevents extensive flickering. If you want to use that. And the standard, everything is standard. Let's just go to the color scheme. We can go to auto, standard, use default, warm, and cool. I love the standard, cool, or auto recommended at cool. Both of them are really impressive. Uh, and uh, basically, I love the, just the, how the calibrated this screen it is, this panel. Uh, most of the Xiaomi smartphones, I'm in love with them. Uh, anyway, let's now use the split screen option. Easy to set it up, easy to access it, like see yourself. And we're gonna find here the Play Store all together love to test the play store and testing the screen the youtube screen here with the 1080p hdr 60 fps like you see by itself also by the way i will test here right now show you the temperatures while using the smartphone with the regular apps ninjas check this out 37 sometimes i get even 38 which is uh, this is not kind of normal for the snapdragon processors regular apps it doesn't heat up to 38 this device sometimes will heat up around 37 to 38 no. Uh, anyway, uh, that's it. Let's go now and test here the touch sensitivity. Hectic vibration is not that strong. If somebody prefers to have a hectic vibration, uh, you will be a little bit disappointed regarding that because it's not that strong, which is really interesting. The standard Redmi 10X, uh, Redmi 10X 4G has a really strong hectic vibration. Maybe because of the plasticky body, I don't know, just that the vibration feels much, much stronger there. So this is regarding the display in just you're going to be more than satisfied of course uh, many many of you will say that it's the con it is for the price tag or almost 400 dollars that it doesn't have a 90 hertz while the vivo iq z1 has 144 hertz that indeed is a con but everything else about this device viewing angles touch, touch sensitivity uh, calibrated screen uh, viewing angles brightness uh, the corning gorilla -like glass 5 on the front on the back it's a nine score for me nine score perfect redmi 10x pro <laughs> Speaker test, next for you. One speaker. Vivo IQ has two speakers, dual stereo system. So again, IQ wins there. 
But this is a very strong speaker. Nice sound chamber. Beautiful. Okay, earphones. Very loud, they are really loud. You get the loud output there from the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack ninjas. Uh, quality wise is also really good. Beautiful, I'm giving it nine score, nine score for the headphone. By the way, I'm using even a cheap ear, uh, earphones. Uh, just imagine having a really expensive one. You're gonna have a really great experience. Okay, and just the FM radio also works just fine. You can listen to the FM radio offline. You don't have to have uh, internet connected. There you go. And you can also go through the headphones and switch to the speaker if you want to do that. Play it back. Oh, anyway, let's go next. Mic uh, test right now we're gonna go. Before the mic test, I just want to show you 30 FPS maximum, uh, 60, 20 megabits per second, and full HD resolution screen recorder, if you want to use a screen recorder with the Red, uh, Red, um, uh, Redmi 10X Pro. Uh, the settings record format, I love to record in wave format. Let's do it. One, two, one, two, this is the mic, mic check with the Redmi 10X Pro. My mouth is 40 centimeters away. One, two, one, two, my mouth is just a few centimeters away. Check, check, check the quality. I'm gonna shut up right now and let's check here the noise cancellation in the background. By the way, my window was opened. Not bad, Ninjas. Nine score, nine score. Not bad at all. Okay, so Ninjas, performance wise, CPU wise, what do we have here? S slash SOC to be more precise. Uh, we have Dimensity 820, uh, if you've been watching my review of my Redmi 10X uh, uh, 5G model, which is $100 cheaper than this one, uh, you would know uh, what kind of beast this is, Ninjas. It, oh my god, you have to check my speed test videos, uh, I don't want to uh, basically re reveal all the, all the beautiness of this or, uh, or the powerfulness of this uh, chipset but i can just tell you simply that the the biggest surprise of this year it is the dimensity 820 it's not coming from apple or samsung or kirin company or qualcomm it's coming from the media technicians 820 just made a big big uh, turnover uh, usually in the past five years uh, snapdragon was the best mid ranger that you can get you probably know that but check right now this performance uh, this is dimensity 820 uh, it has a mali g57 ninjas have a, it has 8 gigs of ram uh, DDR4X and UFS 2.1 storage, uh, 128 gigs of storage. Yes, beautiful, beautiful performance. A MUI 11 based on Android 10Q. Uh, we're gonna go quickly here to test also some sensors. It does have a gyroscope, so don't worry about it. And that's it regarding that. Accelerometer, light proximity, magnometer, and gyroscope. It has a Volti, it has OTG, OTA, NFC support, uh, dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, you name it, Ninjas. You are really occupied with most of the stuff which you need with this device. And we have in-display fingerprint sensor, which we're gonna just test right now. Uh, what else can I show you here? Nothing the DRM info which is really really interesting that this device Redmi 10X, Redmi 10X 4G and this one has an L1, wide one L1 so it has support for the Netflix HD quality. That's really a surprise for me, a Chinese version bro. Usually the only the global version has this certification activated. Anyway, uh, let's now move to the in display fingerprint sensor and face ID. We oh, f f oh, hey, yo, bro, Mohammed, calm down, it's easy, slow down, bro. Let's just show to the people what they want to see. Uh, they want to see uh, the, the stuff. By the way, I'm having. I had already two updates. Yes, I had already two updates with this device. So this is the the Geekbench five score. Here you go. Uh, here we have the GFX Bench, 117 FPS, 1080p T-Rex off screen, really high, high score. And uh, this device has a slightly a small, so, a small throttling happening in the background. It just, you can see by myself here by the CPU throttling app. This is not something crucial, don't worry about it, don't panic. Uh, this is not for a panic level. Here is the Antutu score, it's exactly almost the same, maybe just 1% higher than the, the, the basically the smaller brother, the Redmi, uh, Redmi 10X 5G model. The Redmi 10X has 399,000, this one has 403, so only like 3,000 points more. That's a, back a minor, minor, minor difference. Minor, minor difference. Anyway, I showed you a lot of stuff, uh, I think, uh, regarding the basically camera to uh, probe, uh, regarding the G cam, unfortunately, it's gonna be really, really tough to find a fully working G cam for, the, for this series. Remember that. Anyway, let's move to the display finger, uh, finger uh, sensors, fingerprint sensors. 
Okay, let's start face ID first. Not bad, not the fastest in the world, but it's decent speed. It's decent speed, Ninjas. Maybe because I'm having a, a live wallpaper in the background, who knows? Anyway, let's go with the in display fingerprint sensor. Okay. Show it. Unlock it. Show it. Unlock. Show. Unlock. You can tap probably. I didn't enable the tap to wake up. Nevertheless, it will show it there and it is really fast. It is fast. It does unlock faster than the face ID. You can notice that probably, yes? So overall, great. Great speeds. Overall, I am satisfied by the Redmi 10X Pro face ID and fingerprint sensor. Beautiful. Let's move on. So camera wise, Ninjas, the Pro version, what is specific about it, it is the separate dedicated 8 megapixel zoom lens. So it has a 3 times optical zoom, 5 times mix or hybrid zoom, and 30 times digital zoom. Uh, the main camera is Omnivision sensor, 48 megapixel. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we also have the optical image stabilization with this device. 8 megapixel ultra wide camera lens, field of view is 190 degrees, and we have a 5 megapixel macro lens. Uh, why, regarding the UI wise, this is similar set up like with the Redmi uh, 10X 5G model uh, with, with, uh, but with this one we have also uh, 4k here and 1080p 60 fps plus we have a macro lens which is really interesting the Redmi 10X 4G model has a macro lens but the Redmi 10X 5G model doesn't have a macro lens it does have a depth of field sensor slow motion so you have all these information the front selfie camera is ninja 20 mega, uh, megapixel it supports 1080p 30 fps maximum resolution so let's show you right now the camera samples pictures and videos Now stopped. Of course, there's place to work to basically work a little bit because you can see by here a little bit the exposure balance. The exposure it is bouncing a little bit. You can notice that. They will fix it. They will obviously improve that. Selling the 4G version for $200, the 5G version which is selling for $300. This one is the Pro version which is selling around $400. Bucks in just. This is the front selfie camera test, 1080p, 30fps. This is the maximum that you can go. Okay, and just this is Redmi 10X Pro version, 1080p, 30fps, and hand, handheld walk-in. Beautiful, beautiful. Tell me what you're crying for. I'll wipe your tears for love. If your soul is aching, love will comfort you for sure. If we're died in a way, I will get real over. It don't matter where you are, I'll run to your front door. When my head goes in different directions, you know my heart's never on the move. And in a Battery wise, so battery wise, this beast has a 4520 mAh battery. Uh, of course, with this AMOLED screen and a, a maximum brightness and a beautiful optimized, uh, uh, super efficient battery and power efficient SOC Ninjas, you can get uh, uh, seven and a half to eight hours screen on time. This device comes with a 33 watts uh, fast charger included in the box, so you don't have to buy it separately. Uh, regarding this, uh, basically the charging speeds, it takes a maximum around one hour and 20 minutes to fully charge it, which is really interesting the Redmi 10X 5G takes around one and a half hours, so around 10 minutes more. So again, you're not gonna get like a huge, huge uh, advantage regarding 22.5 to 33 watts. That is completely fine. Again, really good charging speeds for this price tag. Uh, highly recommend this device. You can easily get Ninjas day and a half battery use because this Dimensity 820 is a really battery efficient chipset Ninjas. And still great, great power behind it.
terrible on screen, on -screen uh, navigation, so it's really terrible control there. You know, the best is to play it with the gamepad. Loud speaker, indeed, it is loud. Only one, there's no stereo. Also, it's a really downside for $400, there's no stereo, it's really bad. <laughs> Double. It was running Arc Survival Evolved this good. This is why the Snapdragon, uh, Snapdragon 7, 765 uh, can't beat the Density 820 in the GPU uh, world. You can see myself here, man, that's very impressive. This is very, very impressive that it can run this smooth. I'm shocked, honestly, I'm shocked. Call of Duty guys will have to enable higher graphics for the Dimensity 820, just powerful enough to handle higher graphics details. So this is really crazy crazy test for Redmi 10X Pro version of Dimensity 820. This is the Mali G57, it just Mali G57 chipset. Uh, sorry, if I had a GPU of well, the density 820 chipset over that with GPU is G, uh, G56. The temperature did drop a little bit here 44 from 45 to 44 without a case. Let me, but again, I did start a new game while this here with Redmi 10 X Pro, I'm still in the same game. It just 46.4, it's overheating, bro. 47.1, bro. 47.1 so it went above 47 okay ninjas my impressions for the end should you buy this device what are the cons and the pros so like, uh, like we said here and you could notice if you watched even my full camera review and the gaming review etc etc regarding the pros and the cons uh, let's begin with the cons itself here uh, by the way I'm using the wallpaper app here Wogu Prime uh, just to give a shout out for this wallpaper you can uh, get it from the Play Store uh, anyway let's enter the YouTube and check some video here in just the cons regarding this device here oh my god the screen is just beautiful a camera optimization Camera optimization, I was not that satisfied. Uh, still, we have to say that the con for the Xiaomi devices is there is no EIS on the front. This device is $400. I do expect EIS on the front ninjas. The three times optical zoom is not that sharp. It's not that sharp. You can see it by yourself. Maybe it is sharp if you just stand, if you're still. But as soon as you start to uh, walk, etc., etc., oh my god, it's gonna lose a lot on the, sh on the sharpness. So it's not that impressive like with the other devices which I tested and uh, the last two years uh, regarding the optical instabilization uh, uh, of course the zoom with the optical instabilization activated uh, this device also uh, heats up ninjas it heats up more uh, when you use uh, when you use it in a stressful way uh, it does heat up so far i got 47 degrees on the front ninjas 47 celsius on the front so this uh, the other chipset mid-range from the snapdragon doesn't heat up this much snapdragon 765g uh, heats up less ninjas this is also very important to say lack of stereo speakers it has only one speaker on the bottom uh, mono but it's really very powerful we can say that as a good side a pro that it does have a good sound chamber and also the 3.5 mm headphone jack included and IR blaster so not so many issues not so many problems it just like uh, you have to be very very wise because of this price tag in terms of $400 if you add 20 30 dollars more you can buy yourself the Redmi K30 Pro Realme X2 Pro, Huawei Nova 6. Ninjas, those three smartphones, in my opinion, are better than this device. They are. Yes, you do have this interesting, really uh, underrated uh, MediaTek chipset, the Dimensity 820, which is a really a beast in uh, UI, but in the gaming, it can't be the Kirin 990, it can't be the Snapdragon 855 Plus, it can't be the Snapdragon 865 far beyond that but it is a uh, performance wise it's something between uh, Snapdragon 855 and Snapdragon 845 it's closer to the Snapdragon 855 performance regarding the GPU ninjas it's, it's just really amazing 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 chipset oh my god this dude is really this douchebag of the year ninjas oh my god what a what a douchebag ninjas 
what a douchebag he paid so many he's a paid so many uh, so much money bro to have these ads on uh, youtube and oh my god what a terrible content what a terrible content i mean just the pros of this device it is this beautiful xiaomi redmi series look quad cameras on the back uh, it does take really sharp amazing images on the and the 1080p 30 fps cis works just flawlessly uh, we have really good also selfie camera i do love the selfie camera it's very sharp uh, it don't, I don't see any bugs regarding the camera use, it's just that the, I would say that the also a small minor uh, con, I would say that the, they need to optimize the low light uh, pictures, they are not that good ninjas, honestly for the price tag, they are not better than the other competition in my opinion. Uh, what else we can say, of course the Dimensity 820 super powerful chipset uh, which, has, which has really crazy uh, scores and benchmarks, uh, you saw it, I showed you uh, at the beginning and uh, what else can I see here that the multi Tasking RAM management is also great, but I do have the 8GB RAM variant here, here with me. 8GB RAM variant, this is also quarter of the terabyte, 256 gigs of storage I'm having. This one, yeah, so it is around $450. This one. Uh, anyway, the pros, uh, yes, like I said here, the battery is also amazing. You get also 33 watts fast charge included, uh, so you're gonna enjoy with it. You're gonna enjoy with it, ninjas. The mic quality also good. Camera is uh, good, but it needs optimization. Just like I said here, for the price tag, the, there are other smartphones which will beat this smartphone in other department. Remember, you can even get uh, Poco, uh, Redmi K30 Pro, which offers 4K 60 FPS, ninjas, or 8K. Redmi K30 Pro has an 8K bro, if you just add $30 more, that's insane isn't it? Anyway, uh, if you want to go with this design, this beautiful, beautiful, sleek look, uh, it has a Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back, AMOLED panel, really bright, uh, and if you don't want to have the pop-up camera, you want to have this uh, teardrop notch, you can go with this device, you're not gonna make a mistake, but if you ask for me, my opinion, I would advise you better save more 20 30 dollars and buy yourself the redmi k30 pro it's a better device than just it is a better device i will leave the links in the description to buy the redmi k30 pro okay so listen to my advice and just listen to my advice i uh, honestly maybe in a two three four months when the price still goes to the close to the 300 dollars you should buy this one and maybe some sites will offer a really good deal so you can check my links in the description thank you for watching this video have a great day my salam